All right, Blumhouse, what else you got for me? So Black Box tells the story of a man fresh off of a car accident trying to regain his lost memory through an experimental procedure. Welcome back to the Blumhouse, everybody. If you checked out my first review, you know that we are off to a very rocky start with this whole Welcome to the Blumhouse event this October. But now we are at chapter two. We are at Black Box. Again, like the first movie, The Lie, I had no idea what this movie was about. I walked in absolutely blind. All I had seen was the little advertisement posters that they've had with like the four floors of a house and beyond that knew absolutely nothing walked in completely fresh zero expectations and i do think that is the best way to walk into movies like this because you can very easily be surprised i was surprised in a very bad way with the lie where does my surprise land with black box so starting right off with the positives i think there was a lot of really cool and interesting visuals that they brought in this movie there's this whole procedure that this guy is undergoing to recover his lost memories where he kind of gets into this lawnmower man type machine and goes into his own subconscious. And, you know, there's there's some visualizations that's very similar to get out with the whole sunken floor. Who's there? You get things to where certain times are changed on this little watch that he has where he's trying to go back to certain pieces of his memory and every time he changes it the whole world around him kind of quickly swells and it's almost like he's going through the delorean after they just gunned it to 88 and i just thought it was a really cool visualization of that you know there's not a whole lot that you can do to kind of represent somebody's subconscious but while he's in this dark subconscious whenever they use those visual cues to switch him in and out of different scenarios that are broken memories i thought it was cool much like with the lie the one thing that i said positive about it the acting here is all very good as well i mean you have a lot of varying performances you have a couple of kid actors here which is always a bit of a red flag but they do really good but the main guy being this character who's very confused, that doesn't even really know who he is, but yet he still has to communicate to the audience who he is or who he was or who he wants to be, he does very good. So throughout this entire storyline, whenever you're trying to have this emotional hook with this character where you want him to get what he wants, you want him to kind of reclaim who he was, to fix all of his broken memories, and as the movie kind of goes through some twists and turns and some, some motivations change along the way, you do root for this character because his performance is really endearing and you like him. We call this headset the black box. An immersive virtual pathway to your memories. I like to begin with something I call the safe room. As far as the twists and turns, again, not gonna get into it, totally spoiler free here. I actually liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. It was kind of clever. It was interesting. It wasn't really telegraphed along the way. It wasn't mind blowing to the point where you're like, holy shit, I gotta tell somebody about this. But for a cool little isolated sci-fi horror story, I thought that it did its job at surprising you enough to where you're along for the ride that suddenly the movie changes its gears and takes you on for the final act of the film. And there's some really good thematic elements in there as far as reclaiming who you were, you know, realizing who you were, realizing who you want to be, and you as a person kind of making that yet self-choice of where along that spectrum you want to end up. I would also kind of use air quotes when I say horror in re reference to this movie. You know, I, I tend to think with Blumhouse, especially with the way that they're advertising this for October, that all of these movies would have been rooted in horror. And neither one of these first two so far really have been. This one certainly has more horror elements to it than The Lie did. But the one element of this movie that I would say is a significant horror segment is where he's in this subconscious world and this being comes along. And I'm not gonna say any more about it, I don't wanna give too much descriptions because I want you to be surprised along the movie as this thing shows up, but as far as the visualizations and the sound design and the movement of this thing, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about after you see the movie, it definitely gets under your skin a little bit. It's more so the sound design. When you hear these little clicking and breaking and you understand what they're trying to get across with that, you're like, ugh. Oh, no, no, no. Use the watch. Get out of here. I run my mind. It doesn't run me. <laughs> Moving on to the negatives. The really only negative I have towards this, I mean, you could take easy jabs at this movie. It's a low-budget little sci-fi story. 
the main one that I have is that it feels like it should be a horror or a sci-fi short. It, it feels like a story that would have fit really well into some kind of an anthology film or if Blumhouse was going to do like a bunch of hour long shorts in October, something along those lines. It doesn't really feel like a story that merits a full length runtime. It's not boring. It's not that it like really extends your patience and extends its its welcome with you. You're fine to go along this 90 minute journey, but I just feel like if it was a little bit condensed, if they cut a little bit of the fat out of it, it would actually be a really cool 45 minute, 60 minute short in like a Blumhouse anthology. So I don't know, when I watched the movie, I kept thinking, there's a lot of cool stuff here. It just feels like it's fluffed way too much. So all in all guys, as far as step two in Welcome to the Blumhouse, much more happy with Black Box than I was with The Lie. I mean, The Lie kind of set my expectations off with a absolute bang. And when I walked into Black Box, I was like, oh God, here we go, here's the second one. And I was pleasantly surprised, much better. If we're along for that kind of a climb for the rest of October with this Welcome to the Blumhouse event, then the third and fourth movie should be a hell of a lot of fun whenever we do get there. So if you like little lower budget sci-fi slash horror slash drama stories, and you like to see a little bit of memory loss or a little bit of time travel flavor in there when he's going through his memories, this is a movie that you will probably enjoy. It's got enough merit there. It's got enough creativity along the way. And there's a lot of really cool visualizations that I think most people that pay for this will probably be satisfied with what they get would have been better as a horror short. So if you're still along the ride for this Welcome to the Blumhouse event and you did not jump ship after watching The Lie, definitely check out Black Box. A lot more merit here, a lot more that you will enjoy. Check it out online right now on Amazon and stream it. Depending on what time of day this review releases, you can check it on Amazon. Uh, you might have to wait a couple of hours or half a day, but check it out nonetheless. Thank you guys for checking this out. So what do you think about Black Box? If you have seen it, come back, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you enjoyed this one much more than The Lie. Are you somebody that thought The Lie was great and Black Box really dropped the ball? Let me know why in very explicit detail, please, so I can understand where you're coming from. But nonetheless, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on Black Box down in the comment section below and we will talk about it. Please like and share this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and then you can check out all the other content on this channel. I'm sure you will enjoy, like my review slash rant slash mind blowing fit that I had about the lie yesterday. Please check that out. And as always, remember, opinions are like assholes, but that doesn't mean that you have to be. Hey.